Hi guys, today we are going to ask the question, is the twin standard boxing glove still the standard for Muay Thai or has somebody done something better or were they ever the best boxing glove for Muay Thai? Well, I'm going to ask that question today. So today I have got on a bog standard twins boxing gloves, no dragons, no skulls, no flashy lights, nothing weird about it, just a nice black standard twins boxing glove. Now the first thing to note is the twins standard boxing glove is pretty much the base model for everything else it does. It does, twins do have one or two other designs. They have that crazy thing that comes back here with the things up the side and a very small wrist, which I never got that one. And they have the twins air version and one or two others, but this is the bog standard. So this is the one that we're gonna talk about. Now, I'm also gonna let you into this secret. I never, ever, ever like Twins Boxing Gloves, but that isn't to say I think they're bad. It's just me to say that me personally, it's not for me. I like longer gloves. I like the more boxing style, longer wrist, slimmer profile. Most Muay Thai gloves have this kind of bulbous look. And you see how fat the profile, and if I was comparing this to say a Rival or an Adidas or, a glove which is more designed for boxing, maybe a Reyes, I've got one right here, yeah, where you'll see the longer, slimmer profile, the Mexican style, as is a Reyes glove, and you can see how much longer that is. They're both 14 ounce, and you can see there's a good inch and a half at the end there. And that would be, generally speaking, my preference personally. But that isn't what this is about. This is about, is the Twins boxing glove still the best boxing glove for Muay Thai on the market? The idea of having the shorter wrist is you can turn the wrist for the Thai plum and you tend to be higher up for your boxing so your shots tend to come from your shoulder. A lot of Muay Thai guys turn their fist down a little when they punch either left or right hand and make the connecting service slightly different to say the boxer who's coming down and punching up. But I'm going to go through the things that I find difficult with the twins but I'm also going to talk about some of the alternatives and whether this is still the best type. So the glove on it forces my hand open. If it's got the grip bar across here my palm is there, is there. So it's a good position really I mean it's the right place but I am forcing myself to close a fist. They're very very stiff. Twins have always been very stiff and yeah, it almost takes quite a bit of effort to close my hand. Now, this makes them extremely robust and they're hard wearing. So they last, they tend to last for a long time. They'll stink and cause your hand to like be the talk of the household or the corridor if you live in student digs and everybody is going to want to avoid your room because of the smell of your gloves long before they're ever going to break. And taking that damn thing off is a relief. I mean, it's literally cutting off the circulation on my fingers at the end. And this is one of the things that I don't like about twins gloves. Now, if you're a little guy, small hands, say from Thailand, yeah, and not all Thai guys are little, by the way, then this might suit them very well have you know a smaller space but I would struggle to get a wrap on that I would really struggle to get a wrap on that so is the twins still the best glove for Muay Thai let's have a look at some alternatives now as you know I work extensively with Revgear I've done for years and this is Revgear's Thai glove made in Thailand very similar leather like we can get these really close up here yeah you know you try and tell the difference between the leather quality I don't think you will I put this on and you know, you know, everyone's gonna say, oh, he always loves rev gear. Well, I, yeah, I do. I can close my hand on that for a start. I can close my hand on that. You can see, even as I put, <coughs> excuse me, close my fist, and this is a more comfortable position. Now, why is this? Why is it that rev gear would make a glove that is more comfortable for a six foot three, 95 kilo guy than twins? Well, Think about the market they're making it for. They're making it for Western people. Revgear has a smaller, smaller protection here on the side of the hand. It does, it does have a grip bar that you can see, but it's higher up, so I can close my fist much, much easier. 
I do feel that the air vent on this one, and Twins do produce some gloves with air vents, but I feel the air vent on this one actually assists in me closing the glove. I can make a better fist on this. The thumb position is nigh on the same, <clears throat> but something I just noticed is when I compare them, they're both 14 ounce, you can see that they're both 14 ounce, but when you put them together, you can see that the thumb on the Rev Gear one curves slightly differently to the way that the Twins one does and I find that a more comfortable position. Now, I, as I say, I would still much prefer gloves styled like the Reyes or the Union one there, but largely I prefer the Rev Gear glove here to the Twins glove. The Rev Gear glove is about 20 pounds cheaper, but I don't think the price has got that much to do with it and it depends on where you buy them. Next, I've got a Danger, Danger glove. Now, they've done something different again. Now, I'm back to the Twins fit. This feels almost identical to the Twins. There's a lot of space on my wrist, but I could build that up with a wrap. But the thing is, I don't think I'm gonna get a wrap on. I simply am not gonna get a wrap onto this. We've got a big pad here on the palm. Now, if you're, if you're stopping punches, if you're using parries like this a lot, yeah, this is going to be very, very good in training, particularly, and remember, this is a sparring glove. So it's not designed for competition. So if you're doing a lot of drills where you're padding away, whether you're padding away punches or even when you're kind of blocking kicks, you know, when we're blocking like this, we've got a big pad on the palm, but I don't like the way that it kind of infringes my movement. And again, it's a massive effort. It's a massive effort to close my hand and that's kind of the purpose. So it's gonna encourage me to be punching with an open hand, which I'm not so keen on. Now, again, I feel that if this has been designed for smaller people on the whole, now this big pad on the palm, it's gonna work great in certain training situations. It does infringe my movement. I've got a medium sized hand. It's a good glove. The quality, again, it's impeccable. It's beautiful, and again, Different people are going to have different opinions on this. But I would say that between the Rev Gear, the Twins, and the Danger, this is all going to come down to hand size and your feel when the glove's on. I don't think there's any quality difference at all between all three. So I'm going to go to two other gloves. Now, I've got this one from TIE Fighter, which definitely isn't made in Thailand. And this one, this is another glove from Danger, which definitely is made in Thailand, but both of them are synthetic materials as opposed to full leather, which the other three were. The first one, which I believe is called the Evolution Glove. Now, here's an interesting thing. This one fits loads better for me than the Twins. I can make a fist and it's not as much effort again to close it. And the wrist strap is tighter but there's more room in the actual glove itself which means i could get a light wrap on it not a particularly big wrap but a light wrap now this is 12 ounce if i had the 40 this is the one which is the smaller like i mentioned at the start it's got very similar hand design to the rev gear one and you can clearly see that the materials are not as good quality but i'll tell you what these are 60 quid all the others are 80 to 100 plus and I think that's a really nice fit. Now, I have criticized gloves in the past for having things like this design, and this is sheerly, sheer cosmetics. It's got nothing to do with any kind of function. It's been well finished though, so I don't think it really presents any kind of hazard to the user. And I'm much, much more impressed with this wrist closure than I am probably with the other three. And this is the cheapest glove of the four. This retails around 60 pounds. Now, in leather, this would be awesome. It's synthetic, but at 60 quid, I'd say that's a very, very strong buy when you're saving yourself almost half the money as opposed to the twins. Now, another interesting point is this one is closing slightly different to some of the others. Let's have a quick look at this. So go back to twins. They've attached the strap through and stitched through, but it's closing from the same point. Yeah, this one, they've got this little wrap over here, as you can see. Now, does it make much of a functional difference? 
I kind of like the way it pulls pulls across. I do kind of like the way it pulls across. Whether it's making a great deal of difference, I just think that they've got done a slightly better job with the wrist. I don't think it's down to that. Lastly, lastly, we have what is a cheap glove from TIE Fighter. Now this, the padding feels good. The materials feel okay. But I am comparing to top of the range gloves. And this glove retails at, what's the retail at? 35 quid. 35 pounds. So this is less than a third of some of these gloves. Right? So, and certainly under half price of all of them. The wrist starts pretty good, yeah. The padding is great. I mean, the padding on that's great. Now, it has a twins feel about it, weirdly enough. So the first glove, it's very similar. The, the closure, I'm still having a kind of similar problem. It's not as tight, but that's probably down to the materials. The styling is very nice. And you can see, that's been quite nicely put together, that. Now, it's, it's synthetic. I can already feel my hands sweating like a, well, let's not say, right? I can, I can always feel, I can already feel my hands beginning to sweat. This is one of the major problems with synthetic materials with good padding. Synthetic materials with bad padding is bad enough, but uh, when you get good padding on it, they tend to just sweat like a rapist. Oops, said it. Anyway, the profile's pretty good. It's very similar to fit to the actual twins. The wrist strap's pretty decent. A little bit roomy at the end, but it's not it's not a write-off. It's not terrible. Again, a decent wrist strap, light on the front, heavy on the back. We'll fix that problem. 35 quid, pretty decent. I don't think that Velcro is gonna last more than a year. It's a little bit weak, the Velcro. But on the whole, I think if you were just starting out, <laughs> that's a great pick. Will it last that long? Probably not. If you were going to start comparing between twins, the rev gear, the danger or the danger leather, weirdly enough, you know, I kind of like that one more than I liked a lot of the others. It's going to come down to a lot of opinion. Now, you've got other brands like Windy, Fairtex, Yokao, all make very, very similar gloves. You'd have to go out and check my review on Fairtex gloves because the reason I didn't include them in this review is that Fairtex padding is so different that it would be a standout. And if you want to check the most comparable glove I've got to this, go and check out my review on the Fairtex BGV 19. Not the 9, the 19, which is probably the most similar to these gloves. And you know, you'll see what I have to say about that one on there. Do I think Twins is still the best glove for Muay Thai? Absolutely not. I do not think it's still the best glove for Muay Thai. Is it a good glove? Yes. Has it got some great features? Yes. Will it last a long time? Almost certainly. But are there great alternatives to this glove on the market nowadays? Many of which, were, many of which are much cheaper. 100%. That's how it is. So please hit the like if you like the video. Hit the dislike if you don't like the video. Leave a comment. Ask a question. And most of all, subscribe to the channel. We've got new reviews coming every week now because I've finally got my beautiful assistant, Luke, on the case.